हरे कृष्णा द माइंड ऑफन रिकास एंटीपथी एज इनबिलिटी वॉट इट डजेंट वॉन्ट टू डू इट प्रेजेंट्स एज इफ इट कांट डू सपोज a child doesn't want to do some exercise the child says that oh i can't do this i am too weak the mother wants the child to do some push ups the now also the mother might get oh my child is say, is weak and he will get injured but the father might say come on do it the father might be stricter and that strictness is what is required for the child to be able to do what needs to be done so similarly for each one of us it's important that we don't let ourselves get deluded by things that we take steps forward systematically in moving on in our inner journey that means we don't let ourselves be deluded so we need to be our own parents at times and sometimes our mind just doesn't like to do something and then it makes a big oh this is so difficult this is so painful suppose we had to study for an exam and we don't like that subject at all and we keep pushing it off pushing it off pushing it postponing it and then finally when we do it because the exam is now just around the corner and we can't postpone it anymore then we realize that hey it's not as difficult as it seemed why did i make such a big fuss about it the way I, if i had just done it earlier it would have been so much better so similarly for each one of us if we just recognize this point that our mind uh, is going to ca- um, cast uh, antipathy as inability and that which it doesn't want to do it will say it can, you can't do it so that rejecting the mind is essential for connecting with uh, that which the mind minds that which the mind does not like the bhagavad gita uh, like the bhagavad gita says that many uplifting things in life uh, taste like poison in the beginning but they will taste like nectar in the end so that is the nature of uplifting joys in 1837 it is said yattadagre vishamiva pariname amritopamam tat sukham satvikam proktam atma buddhi prasadajam so yet the agre vishami word that which tastes like poison in the beginning will taste like nectar in the end so if we understand this principle and push ourselves from wherever we may be we can move forwards progressively in our lives and ultimately we can grow and succeed so rather than casting antipathy uh, ra- rather than giving in oh i can't do it we can try to just take small steps and see if we can do it and we'll find we may be delighted to discover that we are able to do things and especially if these are things connected with the divine then it is not just our power it is the divine power also which can aid us in doing things and thus we can grow individually and spiritually by refusing to believe the mind's depiction of things thank you hare krishna